Hello, Type Trice here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to easily blur and pixelize a license plate in Photoshop. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I found an image of a car, and let's say we want to pixelate this license plate so we can see the numbers or the letters. So, let me show you how to pixelate this. The first thing we want to do is to take a copy of our image. That way we work non-destructive and that means that we can always go back. So let's take a copy right here and make this invisible so we only have this layer. Now we need to make a selection around the license plate. You can do that in different ways. You can either use the pen tool, lasso tool or the quick selection tool. In this case, I will use the pen tool. You can use whatever you would like. Now let's just start drawing around this image to create a selection. And just like that, we have now created a selection. Now we want to make it active. You can do that by going in the paths right here. And by holding control and click on this selection right here. And as you can see, the selection is now active. Now go back to the layers panel right here. Now we're actually ready to create the pixelated effect. To create this, go up in filter and choose pixelate. And go down to this one, mosaic, and press on it. And let's drag this a bit up. So you can see what is on this. Let's say this looks great. Just press OK. And if you want to remove the selection so we can see how this actually looks, you can press Ctrl and D on your keyboard. And let's zoom out. And just like that, the license plate is now pixelated and blurred. If you want to make this a bit more smooth in the corners, you can go back to your selection by holding Ctrl and Z on your keyboard. And let's go back to our selection right here. Now you can go up in Select and choose Modify and choose Feather. Let's set this to 10, just like this. And let's do the same again. Go up in Filter and choose our pixelated effect. So go down in Pixelate and choose Mosaic. And let's say this is fine for now. Press Ctrl and D again. And as you can see, it is a bit more smooth in the corners right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to comment them down below. That was all for now. See you in the next one.